Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, today I wanted to show you some recently completed river boards. Uh, these boards are added to um, a set that was uh, previously shipped that have the one inch grid on them. I decided to take this opportunity to try to take the river boards up just one more notch. I'm always trying to improve the water effects, so this time I've gone in and I've tried to add some turbulence around the fords and some of the rocks that I've placed in the waterway. So uh, this gives me a chance to try to uh, showcase maybe a little bit more water effects than I have in the past and uh, shows a little bit about where some of the quality is going on uh, future boards and water effects in the future. So let's uh, take a closer look. So first, taking a look at one of the river boards, you can see um, where the ford is. I've uh, What I've done is I've gone back in with some um, uh, water effects uh, acrylic you know, gel, uh, built up the waves throughout around some of the rocks, and then gone back in and painted those to give the effect of uh, white water. And um, it's a little bit time consuming to go around each and every rock, but the overall effect of it is very nice. I, I like the way it came out quite a bit. Um, and one of the things I noticed that really kind of accentuates the look of these boards is that as the white water carries over some of the rocks that are submerged below, they, um, you know, it gives even more illusion of depth to this area. Let's see if I can give you a little close-up of that. Hopefully the lighting will carry over well. And then what I've done is um, I've gone in and added a few extra boards, uh, a few extra boards, a few extra rocks. Uh, it may not seem like much, but I haven't done that in the past, and it just gives a little bit of variation somewhere where I can stick a couple, uh, you know, shrubs nearby. Uh, and also um, uh, rocks that are in the uh, waterway, I've also given them a little whitewash. A little hard to tell on how much water, you know, ripples to give to it. Um, and I decided to accentuate it a little bit more strongly than going, you know, sort of very faint. Um, partly because it just adds a little bit of drama. But, um, you know, it's sort of a an aesthetic thing and it could have been done a little bit less perhaps but I like the overall effect and I wanted to have it carrying away from the rocks to help give the overall river a better sense of movement than just having a small little ripple right next to it which I don't think is going to add much to the boards. And here you can see another one of those rocks at one of the bends and uh, the whitewash that's been given to it as well. And one of the other things I should mention is that if you've been following my videos for a while, you know that originally I was struggling a little bit with the ripple effects on the waterway. And what I've decided to, or what I've, what I've learned, I should say, is that by only applying a single coat rather than building up in double layers and being very careful about how I apply the ripples themselves, it produces, um, you know, the thicker areas are not as, as deep as though there were two layers so that when some clouding occurs it's very very indistinct now in fact these are perfectly clear at the moment and I did buy a humidity meter so that I could monitor this whole process a little bit more carefully and it seems like if the humidity remains below 60 percent the boards are perfectly clear and they start to get you know that mild mild clouding in a couple of the deep spots um, when it goes above 60 percent for a prolonged period of time so uh, here in the shop I've been running the dehumidifier and keeping the, the humidity down around 60%. Um, the shop is in a basement, so uh, it can get a little humid, and uh, that seems to have been the perfect solution for this. So that's the way I'm going to be moving forward on all of the waterways. And here you see just yet another Ford. Um, you know, it's not terribly different than the other one, but it just shows maybe a little idea about consistency and how the overall look, uh, you know, fits on it, you know, perhaps a, a slightly different uh, piece of the uh, terrain. Um, and of course the way that, you know, how far I've trailed it off. And by, this was kind of how I gauged how much to come off of the rocks that were on the sides of the rivers as well. When I was doing these first, I just felt like to, to get this kind of effect, you needed a trail coming off, you know, sort of at least this far to represent the speed of the water going over it. And so that was the kind of guide I used when I did some of the rocks along the edges of the river. One of the things I noticed that I should mention is that, and one of the things I'd been concerned about in the past was lining up these so that all the currents go the same way when you set out your modular boards. Now this customer has ordered a double set of, of river boards, so he's going to have 10 boards, and they've been randomly directed, uh, you know, which direction the, the, the ripples are coming off. So he should be able to lay out a, a very large variety of rivers uh, that will have a uniform flow to them. 
should there be some uh, spaces, you know, some, some boards where you just really want that layout to, you know, curve the, just the right direction and the ripples don't all match up, there should be enough space between them that it won't become readily apparent to the eye as not all of the boards have rocks in them and show, so some of the boards don't have any indication of the current direction and of course boards like, you know, this straight, see if I can pan back, you know, when you have a straight, um, you're able to align it whichever direction you want without any problem. So it should be able to provide pretty much all the flexibility you need to get the uh, direction of flow pretty much uniform across an entire tabletop. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these uh, boards. And uh, of course, one of the things I should mention is that uh, you know, when you're looking at Terranscapes, I just went through a, a rebuild on the site and I've been, um, you know, repricing and, and trying to re-photograph pieces, try to bring them up to the current speed, but it's difficult because there's so many things on the site. Uh, I can only photograph them as they come into production based on orders from customers. So when you look at things, expect to see some of the improvements that maybe you see on these boards, on some of the individual river pieces, waterfalls, all of those sorts of ideas. Um, and if you have any questions about you know, certain features, whether they'd be included or not in the piece, you, know, you can always contact me. I try to be explicit on the site as much as possible, but I realize it's a lot to read, there's a lot of pictures, it's a lot to sort through, so I'm always happy to address questions and try to make sure that the product that you order meets exactly what you're expecting and is gonna make the best playable table that looks the best as well. Uh, of course, you know the drill. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. I'm happy to answer those. If you have any, um, uh, if you want to contact me, it's Mike at Terranscapes.com. And when you go to Terranscapes.com, you can see photos of all the previous work that I've done. So I hope you enjoyed the video and keep your eye on the channel. I have a couple more videos coming out real soon.